it's time to unbox another freaking ceiling fan. <laughs> yep. When word took a crap on me, it's not even in this house anymore. It's at Home Depot. I exchanged it. Uh, it fail. I exchanged it for this home decorators collection, Mercer. At least I think that's how we're gonna pronounce it. <laughs> All right, let's go over some of the specs here. So, it's got. This is actually the remote that uh, the fan at our old house had that was in the living room. Uh, except ours had a reverse button on it, and I think this one just uses a switch. But no, well. All right, so. Got our airflow specs right here. On low, it moves 1847 CFM. On medium, it moves 4267 CFM. And on high, it moves 6132 CFM. So it's a little less than the windward, but look at this. It has one less blade, a way less blade pitch, or a way s smaller blade, blade pitch, um, and it's two inches smaller. It's got Quiet Motor Technology Plus for more airflow with less noise. It's apparently really easy to install and piece of crap halogen bulb which I'm never going to use, plywood blade instead of plastic, and apparently a lifetime motor warranty. Um, so yeah, I guess. Home Decorators Collection I believe is owned by Hampton Bay because there's actually Hampton Bay versions of this fan that are white and black, but you might be wondering, dude, why didn't you get the freaking black one? Because it moves uh, one, yeah, 1,000 less CFM than this one moves. And, come on, brush nickel looks pretty nice. So, I'm gonna get the camera on a tripod, and we're gonna unbox this. All right, here we go. Got actual scissors this time, instead of like, whatever I used to open it last time. Anyway, maybe I did use scissors to open it last time, I don't remember. I remember the Medilli when I unboxed that thing, the first fan I had in here. Um, I used a razor blade. I don't know why I didn't do that ever again. That was actually kinda nice. Actually, I think it's because I don't have any ones that are sharp. I gotta get some new ones. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, best angle is pretty much right there for my uh, filming situation. Oh, blades are right up front. Oh, these look pretty sweet. Should have done this with a GoPro. I could have got a huge angle, yeah, but then there's that fish eye effect. Another just piece of freaking cardboard. I don't know what that's for. That thing. <laughs> Uh, we got a fake blade. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Got the down rod, which I actually don't think I'm gonna use. Um, I never put anything on YouTube about it, but I actually did flush mount the windward a couple days before I took it back. Light kit. And screws, wire nuts, and hopefully a balancing kit. There's probably a balancing kit in there somewhere. And I believe this is the other part of the light kit, but I'm not entirely sure. Wait a minute. Oh, it's one of these uh, little do not eat packs. Uh, maybe if it'll focus. There you go. All right. Oh, there we go. Now autofocus is working. Come on, there we go. Oops, hit the tripod. All right, I can already tell that the uh, I can already tell that the receiver is not going to be built into the motor this time, which sucks a little bit, but oh well. Uh, this is the canopy. Oh shoot, okay, yeah, it's flush mountable. You can tell by the holes in the bottom of that thing. I'm actually probably going to flush mount this one. And this appears to be, I don't even freaking know, <laughs> I'll look later. So there's the motor right there. We have the black receiver and the black remote. All right, let's go with this. The receiver looks a little smaller than the uh, one in the Medilli. I'm going to set the dip, the dip switch code. Oh shoot, hopefully this came with batteries because <laughs> I know that the remote does not take standard batteries. On, there we go. That, my friends, is the dip switch code for March time on the Wheelock MT fire alarm. And the remote, along with like 20 more wire nuts. Oh, look at victory. There's a freaking battery, that's good. <laughs> yeah, see this is the remote that we had at our old house. I, I really like this remote, I don't know what it is, I just, there's just something about it that just is awesome. 
Anyway. Mounting stuff. I don't know why there's so many wire nuts in there. Uh-oh, where'd the battery go? <laughs> okay, here it is. Look, it's like a little arrow. Ah. Beautiful. Freaking, how many volts are these things? I think they're 12. Yep, 12 volt. Wonder if they make rechargeable batteries like this. That would be quite helpful. Oh, of course, I'd have to find a charger. All right, so dip switch code in the remote has to match the one in the receiver and my screwdriver will not fit. And okay, of course, my finger won't fit in there either. Uh, I, had a, I had a straight slot screwdriver in here somewhere. No, I'm just gonna use this pen. Pilot G210, great pens. It's what I use when I'm not using my laptop or a pencil for math, because math is the only subject that I use pencils for, because I'm actually forced to, my teacher requires it. Wait a minute, what's this? Uh, uh, I already know what it is. Look at how nicely they package this. They rolled up freaking foam and the 100 watt halogen light, which is going to get ridiculously hot. I mean, the 50 watt one in the kitchen gets to like 500 degrees or something at the element. And I don't even want to tell you guys how hot the halogen light that we use for our green screen videos gets. Holy crap, I think it's like 1500. It's ridiculous. Uh, come on. All right. I'm not going to be defeated by a box. Okay, there we go. Oh, the dome is still in the box. I'll get that out in a second. All right. So there's these little things, which actually that's a really good idea. They're to keep, I think at least, they are to keep the little spin wheel from getting damaged. Oh, pfft. can you guys see that? There. Patent pending. Fail. Whoop. All right. Anyway. I'm going to be careful with this. Oh, man. This is such a nice looking fan. I still like the windward design better, but I mean, I figured I'd give this one a try. This is actually a fun fact about... Uh-oh. Okay. I thought I heard something clicking around in there. Okay, it's this thing. That's fine. Device battery power low. Great. That's what I get for using a phone to record videos. I want to get a DSLR. <laughs> I used one for the first time at school today. Holy crap, that was awesome. All right, let's take this thing out. We don't need this because I will be flush mounting it after all. Let's see if I even can get it out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I still have the... Uh, I believe this is called a cotter pin. This little pin right here. And something else from this this little rod thing. I still have that from the um, windward. Oops, oh well, hopefully they won't mind. Of course you can spin that. Oh yeah, there's the reverse switch. See, it told you. Oh well. I had two months with the fan with the switch, or the reverse thing in the remote control. All right, so let me get the canopy, which is this thing. Oops, getting tangled up on the microphone cord, which is just my pair of Apple ear pods. Oh, don't judge me. I can't afford professional stuff. Okay, there's the canopy. Brushed nickel instead of brushed steel. And I need a screwdriver. Got this one that I always use in my unboxing videos or my videos of me installing a fan. All right, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. These are the ones that have to come all the way out. There we go. And then these ones don't have to come all the way out, as you will see here shortly. Just have to loosen them a little bit. 
Maybe if I can get the screwdriver in the thing. There we go. So that you can turn and get the thing. There we go. Ooh, this is a different mounting bracket than the other ones. That is okay. There it is. So, next up, this thing has to come out. This little ring. See these screws? Those have to go in there. That's how you flush mount it. Yeah, let's see. Maybe if I poke it out with the screwdriver. I actually think I still have the ring from the Windward too. <laughs> Let's see if I can even get this thing out. See, now I need the straight slot screwdriver. Where did you go? There it is. You know what, where's the down rod? I might mount this on a down rod. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how long the down rod is. I don't know though. I actually did tear the windward off the ceiling and uh, flush mount it, as I said. There's the down rod. It doesn't look too terribly long. Oh, and it actually screws in. Whoa. All right, first things first here. I am gonna have to cut these wires because this is ridiculous. They always give you more wire than you need in case you want to put a. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. A longer down rod on there, and it's so nice that they strip the part that you're gonna cut off. But I get two free rubber bands out of it, so. Ugh. There we go. And guys, one thing that you should never do is cut the wires before you put the down rod on. Never do that. Because then you will have to find a way to make the wires longer. And another thing you should never do is put the down rod on before you put this part of the fan on. I did that with the windward. All right, there's that. Make it look all nice. Actually, uh, we need the cotter pin and the stud. This has been going on for 12 minutes. Um, there will be, there's the thing at the beginning of the video if you want to skip all this crap or a link in the description if you just want to skip this and get straight down to the point. So if you want to do that, I understand. All right, now oh, which order does this go? Where's the down rod at? Down rod, where are you? Oh shoot, I lost the down rod already. Oh no, oh no. Ow, I hit my hand on something. Oh. Shoot, I actually lost the down rod. How did I manage to do that? And my room is a mess again. There it is. <laughs> okay. So. We are now going to take the down rod and run the wires through it. Come on now, there we go. Man, the lighting is terrible and I apologize for that, but phone battery. It's one of the complications I have using a phone as the best camera I have. Samsung Galaxy S5, not even an S6, guys. Don't get the S6, it's a piece of crap. It doesn't have expandable storage, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. Okay, how are we supposed to get this in there? Because I know it threads in, you can see the threads on there easily. I just have to be careful not to cross thread it. Come on, man. You install sprinklers, you know how to thread stuff into stuff? Oh, I'm cross-threading it, okay. This is a disaster. All right, you know what, I'm gonna do this off camera. I couldn't get it to go on, look at that. Those set screws right there. There you go, nope. There, and that's close enough. Those were tightened too tight. So yeah, I'm gonna put the camera back on a tripod and I'm gonna do a time lapse of me putting this thing up.
Alright, so for demonstration purposes only. Frick. Oh, that was interesting. It was leading to one side. Alright, we're doing this. Two blade operation. Start on low. Oh, look at that. Whoa, that moves actually, that moves quite a lot of air on low with only two blades. Alright, let's go to medium. Oh no, that was high, okay. So this is medium. And here's low. But holy crap, only two blades on high. That moves quite a lot of air with only two blades. You might be able to hear the nice wind noise in the microphone. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other two blades and the light kit on. <laughs> so yeah, let's get to that. True musical sound with virtually no distortion to come between you and the music. Alright, for some reason, even though my phone is plugged in, it still will not let me use the flash until the battery level gets to above 15%, so whatever. I got all the blades on. Before I put the light kit on, we're gonna try this out. High speed. Oh man. That fan looks so nice in here. Oh, and look at that. It wobbles. <laughs> Oh well, it came with a balancing kit. And it moves a decent amount of air, as you are probably able to hear. Yeah. That moves actually quite a lot of air for uh, only having a 14 degree blade pitch. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and put the light kit on that thing. Light. I have it dimmed all the way down because I will never use this feature. But for a halogen light of that little tiny size, that is pretty freaking bright. Oh, you can see it flicker when the uh, air conditioner kicks on. Anyway, let's get to the point where we're all interested in is the fan. Low speed right there. That's for days where you want airflow, but you don't want it to be noticeable. This is moving 1,000 something cubic feet per minute. And here's medium. And that's moving 4,000 something cubic feet per minute. Oh, I can even feel that. Man, that's so nice to have a fan again. <laughs> and high speed, which wobbles a little bit. I'm going to fix that, don't worry. It doesn't wobble too bad, actually, for not having any um, weights on it. But yeah, there you guys go. So that's it for yet another ceiling fan unboxing video. Hopefully the last one until I move out of this house. Because yes, I'm only 14. Of course I live with my parents. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching.